once again, we shall face each other in single combat, and the victor will decide the fate of the galaxy. Alright dude, what's Hello. everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Adam, this is HMO4 Gaming. Welcome you back to Night City Old Republic. In the last episode, we crash landed here on Lee Han or Rakata Prime, uh, the ancient home road of the Rakatan race, because there's a disruptor field which overloaded the Ebon Hawk systems, and we have to get into this temple in order to find a way to shut down the reactor while through the field. The elders are going to help us with that. But before we head over there to go into the temple, just wanted to wrap up basically the only like couple side quests that are around this planet. It's really small, but hey, it's still there. And if you're excited to get started with this, the final episode of Night's Old Republic, please hit like, hit subscribe, do all those things on down below. And I'm actually going to turn on solo mode and uh, walk over here to this statue because I'm an archaeologist and I, oh, <laughs> I was interested in this hieroglyphics. All right, well, usually they uh, try to throw stuff to uh, get us to be stopped, but it looks like uh, it didn't work that time. All right, um, hold on. I want to do that to that guy. I want to, well, basically, I just want to stasis everybody. Joel, or uh, Candorus, he can do whatever he wants. Just go after the war chief, yeah. Candorus is here because uh, he uh, can actually hit. I don't know why I didn't make him melee sooner, but hey, we're trying to make up for past mistakes. And Jolie can just do what he normally does. Insanity. And I did not give him Force Wave yet, which is blah. But he can just do Insanity and then just help Candrus out. Alright. And then I guess I'll go over here and do this. Yeah, turns out that the Mandalorians aren't going to be much of a threat to us. They're going to try. They're not gonna they're not gonna last very long. And oh well, those guys are frozen. And that means I can just be the power of the dark side. Yes. Young fools. It's only now at the end. Do you understand? Yes. Oh, he threw a grenade, and then he died. <laughs> yeah, so that was just a little side quest there. Uh, there's really not many around Lee Han. Um, we have yeah, one... Candorus, no. I was really hoping Candorus had some kind of dialogue for these dudes. Also, if you want Candorus to look just like a Mandalorian, uh, I think one of these guys drops, like, actual Mandalorian armor, which is hilarious. Oh, I think it's right here. Yeah, this Mandalorian head... I don't know why I got a head, but the Mandalorian assault armor. Basically, the little picture looks cool, but it actually just turns uh, Candorus into generic Mandalorian soldier number 50 billion. So, that's how we'll start off the episode. Now that we've um, pretty much wrapped up all the side quests around Lee Han, there is one inside the temple, but we'll be doing that in time. Let's head over to the Elders and get the end game started. All right, now that we've wrapped up the side quest, we can talk to the Elder Counselor and get into the Temple of the Ancients. You have returned, Revan. Are you ready to enter the temple now? Uh, yes, I want to enter the temple now. The time has come for you to atone for your past crimes, Revan, but the task ahead will be difficult. Those you call Dark Jedi followers of your old apprentice now dwell within the temple. There's Dark Jedi into the temple? How do they get in there? The last time you and Malak entered the temple, you must have found the controls to raise and lower the shield. Those inside can lower the barrier to allow the Force users to enter and exit the temple. But they will not be able to prevent us from using the ritual to gain access. Once inside, however, we can do nothing to help you. Go to the temple now. We will meet you there once the ritual has been prepared. Remember, in accordance with ancient Rakata traditions, you must enter the temple alone. Which is kind of blah because uh, there's Dark Jedi in there and they expect me to take them all on myself. And they can literally enter and exit the building itself. So your traditions are kind of stupid when they can just go in and out whenever they want. Also, I just want to point out. Bwong! I just thought that was funny that they made that interactive. Alright, let's head over to the Temple of the Ancients. And with the cordons of the Elders, I have to be by myself. But don't worry, we won't be by ourselves for long. 
And here's all the elders getting ready to take down the force field. Which it never used to be that wibbly in the base game. <laughs> I will begin the ritual. It will take many hours, but it will be down completely. You must be ready. The shield will not stay down for long. Prepare yourself. Chanting. He will go go fighty sao. You mo goi goi fighty sao. You mo goi goi fighty sao. Wait, someone is coming. <laughs> Wait, you can't go in there alone. What are you doing here? I have to do this. Today, a promonition. The force has given us a vision. There is great danger within the temple. We cannot let you face it alone. You might be walking into a trap. Maybe Malak himself is waiting inside. Even if he isn't, that temple will be crawling with dark Jedi. You'll need all the help you can get. No other one can enter the temple. You must enter alone. This is the way of the ancient ritual. Jolie can come. The Rakatan won't allow it. Your destiny, maybe the fate of the entire galaxy, could be forever changed inside that temple. I'm not about to let you face that alone. Not after my premonition. There's a reason I had that vision. Jolie speaks for both of us. You must enter the temple, but we must go with you. So you just tell that guide of yours to do whatever he has to do to get us all inside the temple. I'm not going alone after all. Lower the shield. No, you must enter the temple alone. I will not lower the shield. I don't shield. know what he said, but it sounds like your guide's being stubborn. We don't have time for this. The Republic fleet is on the way, and we're stuck on this planet until we deactivate that disruptor field. You have to convince... Convince I would need to destroy the Star Forge. They need to come, please. I believe you. The Elder said you wish to destroy the Star Forge and the terrible legacy of our ancestors. If you need to do this, I will not stand in your way. I will resume the ritual now. Why do I get the feeling this is going to take a while? Still, we better stay ready. As soon as those shields go down, we have to get inside the temple. You mo gwei gwei fai di Run, 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 run. This is a pretty cool scene. First time you get to see Malak without his little face The preparations thing on. are nearly complete. Every day the Star Forge adds more ships to our fleet. It is operating at nearly 300% of our projections. The fleet is assembling around the Star Forge and awaits your instructions. Patience, yes, but am I beautiful? <laughs> My new apprentice is nearly ready. Once Bastula joins her battle meditation to our enormous fleet, we shall be invincible. Then we shall begin our final conquest of the Core Worlds, and the Republic will be crushed forever. As you wish, Lord Malak. So the Temple of the Ancients. Just a bunch of Dark Jedi. Ultimately, we have to find a way to open that door in order to get up to the top of the uh, temple. We're gonna go this way first. There's really, this is probably the best way to go because this is the way you need to go. The other side is just more people you can fight. At this point, we're already almost max level. We don't really need any more loot, so we're just trying to get to the end. We could open that door, but I'd rather go the other way. And since there's droids around, because we have all of the Destroy droid in the world. Droids at this point in the game are a non-threat. Oh, wrong room. Yeah, so there's Dark Jedi, but again, they're they're not really uh, not really anything at this point to us. As you can see, uh, we dispose of them rather easily. There is a boss fight in this temple. It's kind of blah. Hopefully uh, we trigger it the right way. Because there is a way to trigger it the wrong way. But I think that's only by mistake. Come on. Alright. And the actual fight is through this door. These two, and hopefully we don't trigger because in that door over there, their master comes out and he's tough and I'd rather these two be dismissed first before fighting him. Who dares intrude on our meditations? You know the penalty for... 
Revan, you are back. That is right. I am Revan no longer, but I serve the light. Malak told us what happened to you. The Jedi Council has stripped you of your power. You are a shell of what you once were. You are not fit to rule the Sith anymore, Revan. Darth Malak will reward us greatly for destroying you. Sticks and stones, love. Sticks and stones. Oh, and Jolie's like, what? Could you like insanity these people? Both of us. Alright, there's one down. And she's dead. And we actually did this very well this time. Because now I can defeat the master and we can be at 100%. So let's just make sure we heal up a little bit. Because he's going to be all about uh, yes. force powers and affecting minds and all that. So we're just going to be super drugged up. <laughs> Jolie, throw some force immunity on. There we go. I probably should have force immunity myself. Alright, well, let's go fight him. Hello, Dark Jedi Master. You're crap. <laughs> Revan, Lord Malak told us you still lived. At last, a challenge worthy of my skills. I grow so bored with slaughtering these mindless training droids. I intensified my Don't training say. tenfold in hopes I would get the chance to face you in mortal combat. I am glad to see my training has not been in vain. Has not been in vain, you say? Well, then you shall be dead. Alright, and good thing I can get some stuff off of him. I doubt I'm going to be able to really do much to him. I doubt. Um, well, first I'm going to open up with that, and then Johanni. Alright, let's dogpile him. Oh no, oh shit. <laughs> Good job, Jolie. Yeah, he's tough, to say the least. <laughs> Let's get everyone back up. I still had all my buffs on, too. What is it? Sure. All right, now that we're all back to healed up, he's got a cool, uh, some cool stuff on him. But yeah, he's tough, only because he uses that force drain ability, which basically uh, drains our health. And he's very resistant to things. Didn't work. And I'm terrible at security, but it's okay because we have lightsabers. I can also say this: in the second game, you don't have to do this stupid stuff if you have a lightsaber. You just stick the lightsaber in, and it opens the door. Also, armory. I don't really need to upgrade anything. I'm just gonna loot, take everything we can, and we're gonna head on out. And the funny thing is, I don't even think I needed to fight the Dark Jedi. Man. I think you just fight him if you want to get loot and stuff. But I just wanted to show that off because it's fun. Also, these are supposed to be, I guess, the main boss of the area, these droids, but they're kind of crap. <laughs> And then we head down to the catacombs in order to find a way to unlock the front door in order to get to the roof. And more droids, which again for us, it's my design. 
they're nothing compared to the power of the force. Well, at least of my force, anyway. And there's a bunch of mines that you can get a... Yeah, you could get a, a stone from, but eh, we're not very interested in that. And here's the main puzzle of this building. But luckily for you, I've done this puzzle a million times. So I'm in solo mode, so all you need to do is forward, 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 forward. Go back one, back, over here, over here, over here, over here, and turn around. And just like that, we open the door, and we can head into the ancient Rakata um, computer. Welcome back, Revan. It has been some time since you last accessed my database. I was beginning to wonder if you had been terminated. I was, but I'm hard to kill. An obvious conclusion, given your presence here, however, my sensor input system is detecting some significant changes in your composition since your last visit. Your neurological patterns exhibit subtle yet subdual alterations in both thought patterns and information processing. These changes have been noted and recorded in my database. Your database? I am a completely self sufficient automatonomous interactive database constructed by the Rakat to record and store the entire history of the species. However, since the collapse of the Infant Empire, there has been very few events worth recording and nobody has sought to access the information stored within my database until you came along. Due to my system's ability to modern repair themselves, you will find all the data within my archives has remained fully intact. Please choose the topic you wish to inform on. Uh, and this is the side quest for the Rakatan back at the Elder's Camp. I'm looking for the genetic data of the Rakata. My storage banks contain significant quantities of information on the subject compiled through hundreds of years of research and study. Please wait while I load this information to a data pad for your future reference. Information transferred. Is there anything else you need? Uh, how do I turn off the disruptor field? The disruptor field is constructed as Star Forge's primary defense against enemy attack. It can only be deactivated from the upper levels of the temple. Okay, how do I get up there? My system controls the door to the upper level, allowing only those who are worthy of the cotton legacy to pass. The last time you were here, Revan, I unsealed the door for you. However, the subtle neurological changes I've detected in your likely causes a failure in the recognition system that would have opened the door for you. I've updated the database, and now the door opens for you. <laughs> Thank you. As you wish, please return if you find yourself in need of information stored within my databanks. And yeah. Now that the data has been uploaded and I have the little data pad for the Rakatan, I think once we're done in the temple, we'll say hello to them and basically goodbye to them as we head up from the Star Forge. But before we do that, we have to head up and take off this uh, disruptor field. And all right, now the front door should be open. Here's where we came in and here's the roof entrance. And now it's open. Oh no, more droids. Whatever shall we do? Well, we're just going to destroy droid. And that was the final hurdle of the Temple of the Ancients. Now, there's definitely plenty more Dark Jedi around and more looting you could do, but we're not really interested in that. We have all the loot we need and all the equipment we need. Um, we're maxed out. Jahani and Jolie are like level 18, but it doesn't really matter. So let's head up to the roof. And as we approach the roof, it looks like somebody is awaiting us. Oh no, Dark Jedi Master! Revan, I knew you'd come for me. Malak thought you might be afraid to enter the temple again, but he doesn't know you like I do. Not anymore. Not since you've changed. Quickly, Bestilla, come with us. We have to escape before Malak arrives. Escape? You don't understand. I have sworn allegiance to Lord Malak and the Sith. I am no longer a pawn of the Jedi Council. Pawn of the Jedi Council? What are you talking about? Surely you know what I mean, Revan. Look at what the Council did to you. They turned you into their puppet. The same thing they do to all who are truly strong in the Force. They speak of the dark side as if it is something to be feared. But in reality, their only goal is to manipulate those who are strong in the Force. The fear of the dark side is a tool to maintain control. Why do you think the Jedi forbid you and Malak from joining the Mandalorian Wars? They knew you would realize your true potential and break free of their domination. Malak has shown me how the Jedi Council have been using me the same way they once tried to use you. They've been holding me back because they knew one day I would surpass them all. So 
out to Lay Basila, you still have to turn away from the dark side. I resisted it first. I endured the Sith torments with the passionless serenity of a true Jedi, emptying my mind. But after a week of endless tortures, I finally saw the truth. Malak forced me to acknowledge my anger and pain. He showed me the liberating power of these emotions. Then he made me see how the Jedi Council has denied me what is mine by right. The Jedi Council gladly used my battle meditation in their wars, but they still treated me like a child, like an inferior. They were jealous of my power, of what I could become. They wanted me to bow and call them master and follow their code and obey their every order. But all the while, they were exploiting my battle meditation for their own use. I'm ripping the Dark Lord and about me. You've fallen under Malik's control. You must die. Don't be lured to the Sith. Lies, Bounce. Lies? You were the one living a lie, Revan. The Jedi Council made you into something you are not. They programmed you to be their slave. You used to be Revan, Master of the Sith. But no longer. You were simply a pawn of the Jedi Council in the Republic they serve. Like I was. Until Malak freed me from their shackles. A pity the power you once had is so diluted in you. You could have been as strong as I am now. Stronger even. But that will never happen now. With the power of the Starforge, Malak will destroy the Republic and conquer the galaxy. And I will be the apprentice at his side, after I prove my worth by killing you. Don't be so sure, young Padawan. You are still but a learner. I am the master. As you are going to find out... wasn't even a fight. <laughs> you were stronger than I would have thought possible after what the Jedi Council did to you. Seems that Malak was wrong. The power of the dark side has not lost to you after all, Revan. I draw my power from the light now. Don't call me that. I'm not Revan anymore. I am Adam. Now you see the power of the true Dark Lord. Now I draw my power in the light now, Basilic. Come on now, keep up. You can deny what you are, Revan, but you're only fooling yourself. I know the truth. I have seen the shadows inside your mind. Remember? I was there when you nearly died in the trap set by the Jedi Council. I used the Force to preserve your life, Revan. We are forever linked by my actions on that bridge. And yet you choose to follow my dim-witted apprentice and thinking he's going to be able to defeat me. This is how I know you've come back to the light. These are not your true feelings, Revan. You are speaking as a tool of the Jedi Council, as I once did. But now I see how the Jedi used us both. The Council tried to exploit the bond between us. They hoped I would draw out your memories to lead them to the Star Forge. We were slaves to their will, like all who followed the Jedi Code. But in our shared visions of the star maps, I also felt the so-called taint within you. I resisted it at first, but now I embrace the power of the dark side. Your dark side. Learn from my mistakes. It's not too late to come back. Mistakes? No, Revan. The only mistake you are making is the one you are making now. You deny yourself the power that is yours by right. Only now do I realize how strong you are. You deserve oh, to be the true realize. master of the Sith, not Malak. We've been traveling together for I how long? I see this now. Together we can destroy your old apprentice. Join with me and reclaim your lost identity. I'm not Revan anymore. I don't remember those days. Your mind was too badly damaged to ever fully restore your memories, Revan. But your power, your strength of will, the essence of who and what you are, these things still remain. Once, long ago, you defied the Jedi Council, freeing yourself from their control. You claimed your rightful title of Dark Lord of the Sith. Together we can defeat Malak and take back what is yours. Turn away from the past, Vastila. The dark side leads only to destruction. Vastila, it is not too late for you to be saved. The teachings of the Jedi can lead you from the dark side back into the light and the true understanding of the Force. You are beneath my contempt, Juhani. Jesus. When you felt the power of the dark side, you fled to a cave like some cowering animal. You know nothing of the Force or she its true potential. No she but you, grow. Revan, Get it right. the power of the dark side is yours to command. You can use it to destroy Malak. With my help, you could rule over the entire galaxy. The Dark Lord Revan is dead. I serve the light now. How do I know you won't betray me? I don't trust you. I think I'll just kill you instead. Yeah, he's dead. You were a pathetic fool, Revan. Together we could have defeated Malak and ruled over an empire. But now, I will be at Lord Malak's side instead. You will be crushed with the Republic and all the fools who bow down to the Jedi Council. No one can stand against the power of the Starforge and the Sith fleet. 
Perhaps we shall see Bastila. Somehow I didn't gain enough uh, power to uh, basically force pull the ship down, destroy the disruptor field, and take down the temple energy shield. All right, and the disruptor field is now down, and our lightsabers, I guess, are just stuck on. <laughs> I'm just gonna do some looting. We're gonna take make a pit stop to check in with the elders, and we gotta chase after Bastila. Hello, elder, I've returned. You did find you what you were looking for inside the temple. You discovered the secret of the Star Forge. Not exactly. I have to go to the Star Forge to stop Malik. Then we wish you luck, Revan, for as long as we have kept ourselves hidden away in the lonely world, hoping to keep the Star Forge from leashing to you upon the rest of the galaxy. Perhaps, perhaps once the Star Forge is destroyed, it will be time for us to leave the world to rejoin the galaxy. We isolate ourselves for far too long. I'm sure the galaxy would welcome you back. Perhaps. You must go now, Revan. The Star Forge feeds the power of the old apprentice. If you do not stop him soon, he'll become too powerful even for you to stop. Alright. And I have to turn in that data with their little researcher guy. He's right here. Lalala. Yes, Revan, is there anything I can help you with? Uh, I found this data for your genetic species, so you can hopefully reintroduce the Force into your people, maybe? You have? Thank you. Thank you, Revan. This data will aid us greatly in our research. We have done the people of great service here, Revan, but your destiny lies elsewhere. May the blessings of the Elder go with you. Oh, that's like an ancient way to say, may the Force be with you. Cool. Also, yeah, they're trying to reintroduce the Force into their people, because obviously that's their entire society. He assures me that they won't go crazy again and turn to the dark side and be basically the Infinite Empire, but it's something nice. But, unfortunately, according to the Darth Bane novel- what? Wait, what? I was like, why is it doing that? But according to the Darth Bane novel, yeah, the Rakatans kind of just uh, went extinct. So sad face. It was nice. We gave them hope, but ultimately they're going to die anyway. See you later, elders. Hopefully you guys uh, get reintroduced back to the galaxy. And before I leave, and now I can leave in earnest. Let's head back to the ship and head up to the Star Forge. All right, we finally made it back to the ship and the crew as we watch walk gingerly down to the ship. I'm like, yeah, I'm not in a hurry. You guys are in a hurry, but I'm not. You're back. But where's Bastila? Is she alive? What happened inside that temple? Crazy shit, Karth. There was dark Jedi everywhere. Bastila's fallen to the dark side. She fled the Star Forge. The dark side? Bastila? No! No! How could that happen? She was always in danger of being seduced by the dark side, Karth. Bastila was strong, but she was always impatient and headstrong. Malak preyed upon her weakness. This planet is a tainted place. The Star Forge and the Temple have twisted the Force into an instrument of evil, just as Malak has twisted Bastila into a servant of the Sith. I can't help but feel this is partly my fault. In the end, we all choose our own path. But keep in mind the role that you played in her downfall. You and the task assigned to her by the Jedi Council. Remember the bond that was forged between you and she rekindled the spark that was your life. Through that bond, she touched your memories, and also the echo of the dark taint within you. But there's still hope for her, right? I mean, Revan rejected the dark side, so Basila could too, right? We still might be able to save her. We can try, and we will. I don't know what fate awaits us, but I sense Bastila still has a role to play in the events to come. I have no doubt she will be waiting for us on the Star Forge. No I'm doubt. Sure Let's will. go then before she has time to organize a bigger welcoming committee. And we also have the parts for the hyperdrive. So we can head over there and fix that real quick. Hooray, the hyperdrive is fixed. <laughs> and then the crew's here in the main hold, but they really don't have anything else to say. They're just here. All right. And now without further ado, we can head up and help out. Up at the Star Forge. I wonder if we can go anywhere else. Oh no, it won't even let us. Alright, up to the Star Forge we go. Fleet must have gotten the message I sent as we were crashing into that planet. I'm picking up a transmission from them now. This is 
Admiral Thorne Dodonna to the Avon Hawk. Do you read us? Admiral Dodonna, this is Karth Anassi. We're receiving your transmission. Karth, I'm glad to see you're still alive. We've begun our assault on the Star Forge, but we're taking heavy losses. How did the Sith ever manage to build something of this scope? The Star Forge wasn't constructed by the Sith, Admiral. We don't have time for me to fully explain it, but that space station is far older than you can imagine. Maybe we should pull the fleet back and retreat. I don't know if we have the firepower to go up against this alien technology. You can't do that, Admiral. The Star Forge is a factory of immense power. It's been churning out the capital ships, snub fighters, and assault droids that have powered the Sith war effort. You have to destroy the Star Forge now, or you'll be fighting an unending wave of reinforcements. Then I guess we have no choice. But it isn't going to be easy. I can't even get our capital ships into position to start bombarding the Star Forge. The Sith fleet is too well organized. It's like they can guess our every move and count our every strategy. It's because of Bastila, Admiral. She turned to the dark side and became Malak's apprentice. We suspect she's somewhere on that space station right now, using her battle meditation against you and your fleet. This is Master Vandor. A number of Jedi Knights have joined our fleet under his command. If Bastila is using her power to augment the Sith, then Malak's fleet is invincible. Our only hope is to somehow stop Bastila from using her battle meditation. How can we do that if she's on the space station? I will send a squadron of Jedi Knights to the Star Forge to find Bastila. Their small ships will be able to fly through the Sith blockade and dock on the space station. If they can find Bastila, they may be able to distract her attention from the battle overhead. That should allow you to move your capital ships into position for a final assault on the Star Forge itself. I hate to ask this after all you've done, Karth, but the Jedi may need all the help they can get. Don't worry, Admiral. The Evan Hawk and her crew are gonna see this through to the end. And may the Force be with you. On the Star Forge. You made it. Several Jedi have already this gone ahead into the Star Forge. We have to strike while we still have the element of surprise. It's good news that she if was we able don't to put on stop Bastila from using her battle meditation, Forge. the entire Republic fleet <laughs> will be wiped out. Come on, before they. Damn! So much for testing them unprepared. We'll deal with these Sith. You get into the Star Forge and find Bastila. Hurry! Alright. But first, I have to make sure we're all kitted out. So I gave Jolie uh, Johanny's lightsaber just for the extra bonuses. Making sure that we have everything we need. Candorous. Give him strength plus two. Let's make sure that he has the cool power shield. Um, yep, Verberant. And then also want to make sure that he has the mind affecting thing. And just for funny things, he's going to be using a Janta Paul's blade, which, why the hell not? <laughs> um, so we'll have Why? Why do you bring Kander? Not getting mind effect. We'll be able to just cut through these dudes like butter. Good job, guys. And yeah, now that we have the mind affecting belts on, we shouldn't have any issues as well. So we'll be able to hopefully power through a lot of this stuff. So before we head on, some things about the Star Forge that I've noticed. I've noticed that the first level is very easy because it's all droids and you know how droids are with us. But then level two, 
<sighs> Let's just say that it's going to be super annoying. It's the definition of a slog. I don't know why they decided to do this at the very end of the game. I don't know if they increased difficulty here on the Switch version or, well, the mobile version in general, but I do not realize, I remember it being this painful doing this. But you'll see what I mean. The enemies, they just keep going, keep coming, and it's super annoying. Hopefully we don't get swarmed. And I also want to show off uh, our final uh, armor set for the game and where to find that. Maybe a lot of you have skipped over it. Hopefully not, but I'll show you how to get it once we get there. Lord Mark. A team of Jedi have penetrated our defenses. Their fighters have landed on the Starforge. This is not unexpected. The Jedi are formidable opponents. Send the Starforge's battle droids to deal with them. Lord Malak, forgive me, but how can mere droids be a match for the Jedi? You underestimate the power of the Starforge's droid army. Dispatch the droids. Of course, Lord Malak. The Jedi have invaded the Starforge. Destroy them. Destroy them all. Kanders is like, what the hell are they blowing up the door? Oh no, droids. Whatever shall we do? <laughs> I mean, what else can we do? Well, probably just destroy them, huh? Oh no. Star Force defenses is just so powerful. How will we ever stop them? Oh look, they're dead. Yeah, not too much going on. It's a lot of walking, but this is the easy section, the first floor. Once we get to deck two, that's when everything's gonna go haywire. Also, fun party trick, guys. Heal. <laughs> I didn't even know you can world win those guys. That's hilarious. Thank you, Jolie. I, th I needed that funny moment. All right. And we're heading off until the final section. Hello, dudes. Well, final sections of deck one, at least. And since we're super light side aligned, again, Destroy Droid does absolutely everything and doesn't cost anything. Which, Destroy Droid is going to be definitely fun to have in the second game as well. Ooh. Let's see. Hopefully they get... Hold on. Hopefully they get another feat. No, it's just more powers. Damn it. Oh, might as well give him Force Wave. Why not? And Candorous. Oh, he's only... Yeah, it didn't really help us at all. Yes. Technically, Jolie and Candorous have another level. Not sure if we'll get to that here, but... You know. Oh, look. More Jedi that are going to need some help. And hopefully we'll be able to melt these guys. <laughs> Damn. Ah, more victims for us to slaughter. I don't know, lady. You might want to reject that. Oh no. You guys are in trouble. I kind of feel bad for the Jedi that fell. And that one Republic soldier right there that just randomly got here on the Star Forge. Alright. And this pretty much wraps up deck one. Yeah, they tried their might, but yeah. Dead. Come on. And she dead. What? And that gives you a nice false sense of security because you're like, oh, we're just running rough shop through the Star Forge. Well, get ready. 
Get ready for the most annoying section of this entire game. Why have you disturbed me? I have news, Lord Malak, about the Jedi. Ah, the Jedi. Did my droids pass their test? Did they destroy our enemies? M no, Lord Malak. The droids could not stop them. Strange. I did not think there were any among the Order who could survive an attack by an army of the Starforge's battle droids. It... it was Revan, Lord Malak. Your old master is with the Jedi here on the Starforge. Yes, that would explain why the droids failed. Revan was always strong in the Force. Very well. Send out all available troops, the apprentices as well. Do you... do you think they can stop Revan, Lord Malak? Of course not. But they will slow Revan down. That will give me the time I need to fully prepare the Starforge's defenses. I am curious to see the true extent of this space station's capabilities. One as powerful as my old master will make an interesting test subject. And it's really nice. He truly and honestly believes it's every Don't be fooled. Oh, here they even come. All the apprentices. Yeah, sorry. That doesn't affect us. <laughs> yep, it's gonna be a giant slog up to the top floor. People come and you can get overwhelmed. So the faster we can get through this deck, the the better. So hurry up. Now let's just get over here. See, they just keep they keep swarming us. This is why you wanna get through dudes as fast as possible. And they will use and they will use everything. No about loot. Don't even worry about loot. Don't even, don't even loot, just keep going. Because if you loot and stop, then we're gonna get swarmed. Nope, don't even deal with it. Because ultimately down here is where you need to go. All right, keep going. No, Dark Jedi. Open this door. I'm gonna set some plasma grenades. Come on. First one on my thing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
able to easily take down these dudes. There we go. Hopefully I can get over here. And shut down the turrets. Deactivate sentry turrets. And this is ultimately where we get Darth Revan's final gear. There we go. Hopefully everyone just teleport it to me. Yeah, I'm all the way here. We might as well uh, get some Dura Steel armor while we're at it. I hope they didn't just replace the armor too. I hope they're both in there. Because that would be pretty crappy if it wasn't. There we go. I'm just going to throw some thermal detonators and call it a day. What? Run away! There's too many dudes. Oh, these guys throwing their damn friggin' stuff at me. Look at this. Throwing their shit at me. Get the hell out of here. That'll show you. Kenders hopefully should be able to take him out. There we go. And where the hell these guys come from? They just magic out of nowhere. This is what I mean by ridiculous. As we're just running away from them at this point. <laughs> and we can finally get on our unique garb that I would like to look at, but we don't have time for that. We have to save Basila. Sometimes the best thing to do is just to run away. <laughs> Screw fighting, just run. My dudes got themselves back up and we got up here. Master, why have you summoned me? Without my battle meditation, there is a chance the Republic capital ships could break through and attack the Starforge itself. This will not take long, Bastula. You will be able to resume your battle meditation soon enough. I only wanted you to know that Revan is here on the Starforge. Revan? But... The Force is bringing us towards a confrontation with my old master. The Starforge has drawn our enemies together. So they may all die in a single glorious day. You must kill Revan to prove yourself worthy of being my apprentice, Bastila. You must finish what began in the Rakatan Temple. Yes, Lord Malak. I sense your fear, Bastila. Rakatan Temple? But it is unfounded. Shake my head. The power of the Star Forge will feed the dark side within you. It will give you the strength you need to defeat my old master. Stay here in the command center while you use your battle meditation against the Republic fleet. Revan will find you here in due time. 
It is inevitable. Of course, Master. I will not fail you again. Perhaps you will triumph, Bastula. But even if you fail, it will give me the time I need to complete my preparations of the station's defenses. And then we shall see if Revan can stand against the full fury of the Star Forge. Ha 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 Evil monologue. <laughs> As we're all not doing very good. Alright. Let's all heal up a little bit. Use all these med packs that we've been saving. Uh, what, you need? what? And now that I have my full Star Forge garb, we're all ready. Got the best defense I could possibly have, a defense of 29. We can head forward and basically say, screw you guys, we're just gonna run. I'm not even gonna run. It's like, don't even, don't even mess with them. See you later, dude. Better off just running and facing Bastila right now. Not even have to worry about any of these stupid guards because if you do, you can get bogged down, and that doesn't really make for very fun gameplay. So, uh, yeah, you can literally just run past everybody. Except these guys. You actually have to take these guys. Which is like, whatever. It's like I'm not very. Seeing as how you all get. Oh, look. What is one of you happy? Oh look, now you're all faced. opens the door and that brings us to our final confrontation with Bastila but she's not gonna be surprised to see us all roided out let's get roided out make sure we're all set uh, let's throw a battle stimulant in sure let's do it hello Bastila I'm ready after I just ran past all your defenses. <laughs> Revan, I knew you'd come for me. I'm Adam Nett. I'll never give up on you, Bastila. I know you can still be saved. You're wasting your time. I've seen the Jedi for what they are. Weak and afraid. The Sith are the true masters of the Force. Dude, I just busted You've through all your lesson, defenses Revan. to meet you here. Now you, you must mean. pay the price. Here on the Star Forge, the power of the dark side is at its strongest. This time, you will not defeat me. Oh, so we one v one in. All right. All right. One v one. Yeah. Sorry. You're no match for the power. Come on, Vasila. I see now why Malak followed you. Even though you're only a shell of your former self, you're still a formidable opponent. I can't mm. even imagine the power you must have wielded when you were the Dark Lord. You were a fool to give it all up and follow the light side. I am as strong as the light as I ever followed the dark. The dark side has made me stronger than I ever was before. I have a greater command of the Force than all but the most powerful Jedi Masters. As Malak teaches me the greatest secrets of the Sith, I will unlock more of my potential. Eventually, there'll be no limit to what I can accomplish with the Force. Malak will never let you become powerful. He will kill you first. Have you forgotten the ways of the Sith already, Revan? Eventually, I will challenge my Master. 
If I am worthy, he will die by my hand, and I will become the new Sith Master. Then I will take on my own apprentice, and the cycle will begin again. This is the way of the Sith. It is how we assure our leaders are always the strongest and most worthy. You are dooming yourself to endless cycle of death and betrayal. No, Revan. It is you who are doomed. Oh, yeah? <laughs> You're growing weary. I can sense it. Your strength falters. The light side is failing you while the power of the Star Forge re energizes me. Soon this will all be over. I have not faltered, Basila. You have misled by the dark side. The dark side will always triumph over the light. Malak has assured me of victory. You can't defeat me here on the Star Forge. You can't. And maybe if you, uh, maybe, but uh, I'm just gonna roid up a little bit because you gave me a nice lull in the action. So uh, yeah, you get the Star Forge, nice little uh, electrical power surge, and I have my drug. So we'll see which one of us is stronger. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out drugs are really strong. Come on. So, this is not possible. You have rejected the dark side. You are a weak and pathetic servant of the light. How can you still stand against me? Why can't I defeat you? Drugs. I am stronger than you ever be, Basila. Now you see the dark side is not stronger than the light. Yes, I see you speak the truth. I am no match for you. Please, for the sake of what we once shared, do not make me suffer. End my- No, I'm not gonna- You're right, don't worry, you won't feel a thing. I can never kill you, Basila. What other choice do you have? I have fallen to the dark side. I am the apprentice to the Dark Lord himself. You cannot let me live. You can reject the dark side, Basila, and return to the light. No, I am not strong enough. There is too much anger inside me now. Too much hatred and fear. I can no longer find peace in the Force. Use our bond, take strength from me. You always had more strength than I did. I told you that. I felt so helpless before your destiny. You were Revan and I couldn't tell you. It was agonizing. Even worse when I began to feel closer to you. I despised myself for it. And even now, I feel your strength. It does help me. Thank you. I think I can face the end now. If you were the one to end it for me. Not ending you. I love you. You love me. <laughs> there was a time I yearned for and yet dreaded to hear those words. I loved you too, but I could never face Knights who you of were. the old Malak Sims. knew how I felt. Any part of the light that was within me would be extinguished when I killed you. But what good is love? It cannot save me from the sea of blackness I am drowning in. I have betrayed everything I ever believed in. How can I, I atone won't for tell that? Nobody. Help us defeat the Sith Basler, so atone for what you've done. Yes. I could join you in your battle against the Dark Lord. That alone would not make up for all I have done. No, but it's a Yet good start. Yet it would be a step in the right direction. But how would you be able to trust me? How do you know I wouldn't turn on you when you face Darth Malak? How do you know the dark side wouldn't make me betray you again? I trust you enough to leave yourself open to your attack, Bastila. You play a dangerous game. Are you certain you wish to take this risk? I could end your life and gain Malak's favor with a single stroke of my lightsaber. You won't battle it because I love you and believe in you. You are brave, and some would say foolish. But you are also right. The dark side has not wholly consumed me. I cannot raise my blade against you. You will go on to defeat Malak. Of this I have little doubt. You will have gone from being the Sith Lord himself to the savior of our galaxy. And you said you loved me. This may not be the best time to say it, but I love you too, with all my heart. Mwah. You aren't afraid to love anymore? After this? No. Nothing could make me feel safer than to be loved by you. You should go. Malika waits. This isn't over yet. For any of us. I should stay here, though. If we face Malika, I am afraid his dark presence will overwhelm me. It would not be wise to expose myself to such temptation. I want you about my side. You can use the battle meditation to aid the Republic. Yes. That would be for the best. You don't need me to defeat Malak anyway. Now I understand that a true Jedi is a match for any Sith. 
even the Dark Lord himself. I will stay here in this chamber and use my battle meditation to aid the Republic fleet. I am their only hope of destroying the Star Forge and ending the Sith menace. You must go and face Malak, but you have to hurry. Once I turn the battle in the Republic's favor, we won't have much time to escape the Star Forge before it's destroyed. Good luck, my love, and may the Force be with you. Breaking the Sith formations. Green Squadron, move in. Green Squadron, moving in. Green Squadron's through. We've broken their lines. Bastila is no longer using her battle meditation against us. The tide has turned. Red Squadron, into the breach. Capital ships, reinforce their position. Also, I don't know what happened to Jolie and Candorus. They kind of just went somewhere. The door's closed. Some great power cannot be opened at the moment. So I guess they're back there. She's here, but... Alright, so now let's head and go and face Malak. Uh, I hope you're ready for uh, more filler. Even though if this whole place wasn't filler to get here, you know, we gotta get some more. Because this is uh, why we invest in Destroy Droid, because this section is really annoying if you don't have it. But first, we have to get an evil monologue from Malik. He needs like another three or four yet. Epic boy. I tire of this game, Revan. You have been a thorn in my side from the moment I seized the mantle of Dark Lord from your feeble grasp. You made a mistake coming here, Revan. The Star Forge fuels my command of the dark side. You are no match for me here, and this time you will not escape. If you are who you can escape, surrender, and the Jedi might show you mercy. Is that what you call it? You think stripping away your power and your identity was an act of mercy, Revan? I would rather die. I was saved from the darkness malice. You could too, if you wish. Spoken like a true slave of the Jedi Code. Save your preaching, Revan. I will have none of it. You are an insignificant speck beneath my notice. I have surpassed you in every way, and accomplished what you never could. I have unleashed the full potential of this Rakatan factory. You had no idea of the power within this place. Its very walls are alive with dark side energies. And now, my old master, I will let the Star Forge itself destroy you. Okay, more filler. briefly going to show you what this uh, filler is, but first, let's pop some speed. These dudes are going to attack us, of course. Essentially, there's the machines, there's six of them, I think. We just go over to the console. 
uh, disable generator. Oh yeah, I've, I hope that you have enough spikes to do this because uh, it's a lot of computer spikes unless you, uh, you know, invested in computer use. But five is decent. We have 64, so let's do that. And that destroys the generator. So if we destroy one of the droids, they will not come back. And you have to do that for all the consoles while destroying the droids. If you don't destroy the console before destroying the droid, the console will make a new one and you'll be stuck here with infinite droids until the end of time unless you figure out a way to destroy the consoles. Every time you destroy a droid, the little box next to it does generate a computer spike. So as you can imagine, if you don't have any spikes, you have to kill like basically an entire army to get enough spikes to deactivate each console. It's really annoying. So I'm gonna skip to uh, what we all came here to do, which is to defeat Malak. All right, now that all the generators are destroyed, the droids stand down. Yeah, so uh, you could defeat the droids if you want, or you can just destroy all the computer ta terminals and then they just stop automatically. Glorious, great engineering by the Rakatans. All right, without further ado, as we uh, pick some stuff off our fallen <laughs> eight credits at a frag grenade, <laughs> we pick uh, the bodies of our dead friends, and we head on to our final confrontation with the Dark Lord himself. Let's do this. Here we are in our final confrontation of the game. Here against the Dark Lord. Kitted out with Darth Revan's garb. It's not exact, but this is the light side garb. I kind of wish we had our mask and put the hood up, but oh well. Let's do this. And there's the man. Um... So he's kind of annoying. He is very strong. But with have we done with a lot of the bosses in this game, it's 1v1. So that just means it's 1v1 with my pockets of cheese. Let's do this. Hello, Darth Malak. <laughs> As you stand with your back to me, with your arms crossed. Well done, Revan. I was certain the defenses of the Starforge would destroy you. Seriously, dude? But I see there is more of your old self in you than I expected. You are stronger than I thought. Stronger than you ever were during your reign as the Dark Lord. I did not think that was possible. The light side is stronger than you managed. It's your last chance, Malik. Surrender. No, Revan. This time our confrontation can only end in death. Yours or mine. Once again, we shall face each other in single combat. And the victor will decide the fate of the galaxy. <laughs> All right, dude, let's do it. So if I'm in combat now, oh, I, I can put all my stims in. All right, let's just make sure we're all roided up and my thing is on, so let's do it. Come on, let's go. Yeah, and now all of a sudden he goes up there. You continue to amaze me, Revan. If only you had been the one to uncover the true power of the Starforge, you might have become truly invincible. But you were a fool. All you saw was an enormous factory. All you ever imagined was an infinite fleet rolling forth to crush the Republic. You are blind. Isn't that what Revan. you're doing, dude? Blind and stupid. All right. What are you talking about? The Starforge is more than just a space station. In some ways, it is like a living creature. It hungers, and it can feed on the dark side that is within all of us. Look around you, Revan. See the bodies? You should recognize them from the Academy. These are Jedi who fell when I attacked Dantooine. For all intents and purposes, dead. Except for one difference. I have not let them become one with the Force. Instead, I have brought them here. The Star Forge corrupts what remains of their power and transfers the Dark Taint to me. Cannot beat me, Revan. Not here on the Star Forge. Not when I can draw upon the power of all these Jedi. 
And once you are beaten, I will do the same to you. You will be trapped in a terrible existence between life and death. Your power feeding me as I conquer the galaxy. Alright, dude. But see you later. By the way, you know, if you're gonna do that. So yeah, he uh, basically gave us uh, a way to beat him. So we're just gonna run away. Yeah, it's kind of fruitless fighting him because... You have to defeat all the captive Jedi first before you're able to stop him because, uh, yeah, he kind of, uh, he kind of draws out the of these dudes, so I have to take them out before you can actually fight him, because if not, then he'll just get to a point, get low enough, and just recover his power. But with all these guys taken out, there he's all the way over there I'm not afraid of him Turn on the field. he keeps running towards me that's all right cuz I can just cheese the game and get super roided up and let's put an end to him once and for all hello dude now I think he actually decreases in difficulty I think the initial stop <laughs> Like, we use, let's actually fight with our lightsabers. Because, yeah, and then he just hits me with that, and then you have to run away. Because he hits me with a million force energy, and then it's like, how am I supposed to fight you if you're just going to do stupid shit like that? There we go. Come on, dude. I thought we were supposed to be doing single combat. He's over here cheesing me. Well, then again, I'm cheesing him, so it doesn't really matter at this point. <laughs> I'm sure you probably could do a lot better. Maybe my stats could have been better, but eh, it's fine. My whole playthrough is the cheese, so we might as well give him the cheese de gras and take him out using the utmost cheese that we can muster. See you later, dude. <laughs> the best cheese we can possibly do as we take him out or at least attempt to anyway come on there we go as I'm almost dead let's uh let's not look super dead in the cutscene huh <laughs> and with that we have completed Knights of the Republic Impossible. With all the cheese in the world. I cannot be beaten. I am the Dark Lord of the Sith. This is the way of the dark side, Malak. All things end in death. To basically a dude with cheese and injecting himself with a lot of drugs. Still. <laughs> still spouting the wisdom of the Jedi, I see. Maybe there is more truth in their code than I ever believed. I... I cannot help but wonder, Revan, what would have happened had our positions been reversed? What if fate had decreed I would be captured by the Jedi? Could I return to the light as you did? <coughs> if you had not led me down the dark path in the first place, what destiny would I have found? You cannot blame me for the path you chose. I'm sorry I started you on this path, but you've chosen to continue down it. I suppose... I suppose you speak the truth. I alone must accept responsibility for my fate. I wanted to be master of the Sith and ruler of the galaxy. But that destiny was not mine, Revan. <laughs> it might have been yours, perhaps. But never mine. And in the end, as the darkness takes me, I am nothing.
There you are. What happened? Cognolic is dead. It's finally over. That's wonderful news. There's no time to celebrate just yet. I was able to use my battle meditation to allow the Republic to break through the Sith fleet. The capital ships are in bombardment range. And that means we all have to get out of here right now before this entire complex comes down around our ears. Everyone else is already on the ship. Let's move. Everyone pull back. I don't want to lose any ships when that space station goes down. We did it, Vandar. The Sith are routed, and the Starforge destroyed. But at what cost, Admiral? Where is the Ebon Hawk and her crew? the victory party without us, Admiral. I'm sending an honor guard to escort you in. You'll be getting a hero's welcome when we all get home. thing that bothered me here in this end sequence is everyone's wearing the custom Valley, armor that I put them in, the except and me. Broken the I'm like, man, why can't I be wearing my Darth Revan For this, I am proud to present Everybody you else is wearing the their stuff. Of glory, the highest honor the Republic can bestow. From Coruscant to the farthest reaches of the Outer Rims, you will be known as the saviors of the Republic. Well, at least for the first few couple, uh, for the next few years anyway. <laughs> On behalf of the Jedi Council, defenders of the galaxy, and sworn protectors of the Republic, I too would like to honor you for your actions. We Jedi now have another tale to weave into the grand history of our eternal order. The redemption of Revan, the prodigal knight. Wherever you go, you will be recognized as the saviors of the galaxy. The heroes of our age. But you must Not remain the heroes of frame ever range, vigilant. For one day, you may be called upon yet again to defend the glory of the Republic against the tyranny of the dark side. This is the destiny of the Jedi. And that is the end of Knights of the Old Republic. I'd like to thank everyone who joined me on this adventure. Please hit like, hit subscribe, do all those things on down below. Um, it's been a long journey. This game came out forever ago. And, you know, just sitting down and doing this is very time consuming, as you can imagine. But it's all worth it in the end, as long as one person, you know, clicks on the video. What's coming up next, as I keep saying in my... Uh, update video that I put on all these videos basically I'm just taking it one game at a time 
So I plan on returning to Persona 5 Royal. And then some of the newer games that are going to be coming out for this year. Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Don't know if that'll be a full series, but it'll definitely be coming to uh, the channel in some way or another. Live a Lie, maybe. That might come out just because there's a demo. And Soul Hackers 2, because I like everything Shimagami Tensei. And then we definitely have to get back to SMT5 and finish that. Because, uh, you know, I definitely need to get back to SMT5. And I hope you join me for all those things on my channel here in HMO4 Gaming. But until then, I have been Adam for HMO4 Gaming. And this has been Knights of the Old Republic. See you in Knights of the Old Republic 2 whenever they get the content out for the Switch version and it gets fixed. Or... See you in the remaster for the PS5 whenever that comes out. Thank you very much. Have yourselves a great day.